there's actually two correct answers here, depending on how you think about it. Both answers have in common that it's always two times n plus one times a. And depending on how you count this line here, it's going to be either a zero or a one. And the reason for that is the following. So the first line again takes zero time steps as in all previous examples. For the second line, it either takes n time steps if you assume that this for loop here goes exactly through each character of the string and then stops immediately, or it takes n plus one loops if you assume that it's executed like a for loop or a while loop. So this again shows that it can be very annoying to do exact time counting. The next step though is always executed n times because the number of times this inner loop here is executed does not depend on the number of time steps it takes for this line here to end. And finally, the counter is always increased when the algorithm encounters an A. So this line here is executed exactly A times. And if you sum up all of these, you get 2n plus 1 times A. And depending on how you count this line, you either get a 0 or 1 here.